Hey everybody, this is Linda, and I'm here today with a quick little share. Um, I was watching a YouTube video the other day, and I went back and tried to find it, and I couldn't because I watched it through Facebook, so it didn't show up on my history in my YouTube uh, videos. So I really can't say who I watched, who I got this idea from, although I'm pretty sure that that uh, I went on, um, I went searching for it, and I couldn't find the video, so, but I did see some others similar to what I've done here, but anyway, I just thought I would show you these cute little, um, I don't know, dangles, charms, tassel charm dangles, whatever you want to call them, using um, the hinges from clothespins, so, I just used this little part right here, and I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'll show you the ones I made first. This one, I just used um, a little a clay bead that I bought from a bead store, and then a little wooden bead, and I used um, just a little ribbon. And, you know, you could, you know, make a necklace out of this, or tie it on the side of your journal, or put it on a keychain. You could do whatever you want to with them. I made them to go on my journals probably. Um, and I made this one. And I used a thin hemp cord for this one. But uh, I had trouble with the hemp because I don't have a lot of beads and stuff. So most of my beads, they, they didn't want to go that the cord didn't want to go through, especially these big ones. This one I made to, um, well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it dangles. Uh, you can't really see it. You can see it there dangling a little bit. And uh, I used a thicker cord on this one, so it got even harder to put through. <laughs> and then this was the first one I made. And I think they're just so cute, and it's not my idea, but I sure do think it's a, a great one. <laughs> I really had fun making these, and this bead was hard to get on because it's so wide, but uh, I actually was able to put an eyelet, not an eyelet, what do you call these little, um, these little things, little ring through there and let this little charm dangle down. So, can you see it? I don't know if you can see it dangling. Anyway, I haven't put this on anything yet. And then I made this one and I haven't done anything with it either. Um, this one spins because <laughs> it's big, the hole's big. So anyway, all you do is just take this off. I haven't figured out anything to do with these. Um, I'm just throwing them in a little container, but I don't know if I'll find anything to do with them. And then you have this that's open here. You see that? That's where you, what you string your bead through. So I'll just show you one really fast. Um, let's see. See how this see how this bead works um, some of them are some of them are easy to get through and some of them are not D the bigger ones are harder than the smaller ones but you just um, <laughs> put it through on one side and then you just have to kind of pull it around and and then you have to kind of adjust it around in there until it until it, uh, until you get it to where it'll stay, like that. Just like that. And then you can use whatever you want to use to, um, I'm just going to use this real thin string here and uh, put it through like this. And then you can use a, can put beads on it. And 
or you could just leave it like that if you wanted to but I like to put a bead on it so let's see um, let's use this big bead right here and see how that looks this should should thread through pretty easy there we go and then after I get that on then I tie a knot in it so that it doesn't move around too much like that and I've been putting just a little bit of glue on it just a little dab right in the center and then I'll tie it again now you could put as many beads on as you want I guess um, whoops there that's going to take a few minutes to dry and then when it gets dry it'll look like that then you can put some more beads on if you'd like um, I mean I'm just I'm just kind of showing you um, how I did it. it and I imagine I mean if you're if you make jewelry I'm sure that you the sky's the limit as to how how pretty you can make these I'm gonna see if I can thread one of these little tiny beads right here on here get this other side to go through for me it's like trying to thread a needle I'm not uh, too good with my hands anymore as I get older they gets harder to do stuff but uh, see if I can thread it through my needle you get the idea anyway whether I get it in there or not <laughs> It's dark too, so it's kind of hard for me to see what I'm doing. All right, that's not going to go through. Should be enough room for it to go through. So how's your weather today? <laughs> While I'm fighting with this thing. Hope everybody's doing well. It's not happening. Let's get a bigger one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ta-da! So you can just keep threading them through as long as you want to, getting them as big as you want. and um, Yeah, so that's... Uh, that's my clothespin dangles. Aren't, I just think they're so cute. So I would love to give whoever I watched credit, but I just don't know who that was. So I can't give credit. Um, but if it's anybody that happens to be watching my channel, please let me know down below if it was you. And um, thanks, everybody. Give this a try. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, you can get a whole bag of clothespins for hardly anything so give it a try and um, thanks for stopping by and watching bye for now